Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Orlando, Florida at the 2019 PGA Merchandise Show. Really pleased to be joined by Roger Cleveland, Callaway Golf, renowned wedge designer. He's been at this for a long time. We're gonna talk specifically right now about the brand new PM Grind wedges. And I know this started as a project with you and Phil, kind of created the first iteration of this that he played on tour. It's blossomed since then, got a brand new version, a lot of exciting new technology. Well, Phil is, to me, has the best short game and the most imagination of any player on the tour. He works at it, and that's one thing that everybody can learn from is how much work the pros put in because they don't hit all the greens and they shoot 66. Okay, how do they do that? They work, they have good equipment, but they really work at it. But Phil, in that, he always is changing and moving, so he wanted to add some things. He had a shot that he was having a little bit hard time doing, and it was a it was a low uh, strike that that really spun a lot—a 30, 40 yard shot, 20 yard shot that he could hit low and spin. So he wanted to add some offset. So we added some offset, and it's a progressive offset going through the set. The set makeup is 54 to 64. Okay. And so it's a progressive, and it goes less as you go down the loft. The leading edge is really tight on the 60-64, on the and that goes progressively straighter as you go down the loft as well. So that's the one, one feature. There's three features. The other one is the micro-positive grooves that we put in the MD4 wedges, which are positives that we machine in between each groove. So you have 84 edges to catch the ball more spin. Out of rough, wet conditions, it's a thousand more RPM. But what we did differently on the PM wedge is we put them on an angle, a 20 degree angle. So when you open the face, that 20 degree angle now sets right square at your target. So that's about 400 more RPM, and that's control. Anytime you're opening the face, you're going to hit something higher. You're going to pop it over a bunker. You want some spin. This, this provides it. And the other feature that we changed, we changed the sole, and so it's a little wider sea grind. It's like a mini shear out, but with relief on the heel and the toe. Really forgiving. Now, is it safe to say with the sea grind, but these wedges having a little bit more bounce, that players are getting like a great combination of versatility, but also turf forgiveness? Absolutely. Well, that's, that's why you want a little wider. This has about 13 degrees of bounce in the lob wedge and the 60. It goes down in the in the 64 a little bit, goes up in the in the uh, 54, 56 for the sand sand clubs, and then and um, it stops right there at 54. So. And they say imitation is the greatest form of flattery, and you've seen other people now sort of maybe go into more of this kind of design. You what think is it? It's called, it's called Xerox. <laughs> you know? What is it that you know where players are going to see the single biggest difference in their short game by using a wedge like this? Well, the, the reason why the high toe, we, we, we uh, back a few years ago at the PGA at Valhalla, we've been working with Phil to put a, a higher toe, more real estate up here, and he would open up the face on a, on a short shot, and he would hit it so hard, he would go under the ball with it with a standard wedge, okay? So we added that real estate, and when you do so, he would go further out toward the toe because you got to stay away from this guy. And he would go up the face and he would have grass stains way up here. So that's why the high toe. It looks funny. It's a, like an ugly ducking that, that really performs well. It's the most technical wedge actually in golf today. When you look at this feature, this feature, this feature, and what it does, it's amazing. So Phil has an incredible talent imagination but he developed and I had a little hand in developing that the best one of the best tools in, in the lob wedge category for the player looking Callaway wedges MD4 is obviously also tremendously popular yep. for you guys yep. what would sort of be the determining factor maybe for somebody picking a sand wedge or a lob wedge and going between MD4 and the PM drive well you got to I think the most critical wedge in your bag is your highest lofted wedge. Uh, you demand more for it. You, you sometimes open it up. You have to hit it out of funny lies, tight lies, soft lies, and so forth. Uh, so it's, it's the most critical wedge in your bag. So that's the most demanding one to fit. 
And so in the MD4, we have four different types of soles to fit with, depending upon the characteristic of your, your swing type. If you set your a lot of set or wrist cock in your swing and in your short game swing, you're going to be steep, okay, to the ball. So you need to have a little bit more bounce because in pitching you need to put that bounce on the on the ground before the ball. You don't want to hit the ball first. Right. Okay. So we have two versions. We have the X grind that actually has 18 degrees of bounce, and we have the wide, which plays like a lot of bounce. It's 12 degrees of bounce, but it's wide, and when you open it up, it creates a lot of bounce. So if you're steep, both of those configurations are great for you. Okay. Now, if you're not so steep and you're shallow, which is the per preferred method, so you can create more speed, actually, when you have a lot of set, you have to slow down. Here, when you don't have a lot of set, um, you can actually speed up. So we have the C grind and the S grind. The S does not have as much relief in the, in the heel. So if you want to have a, a, they both have around 13 degrees of bounce, okay? So one has uh, uh, just a standard sole and the other has relief. So if you want to open it up, it's a C grind. If you don't, it's the S grind. So we, we have all options for you. And so we have fills, which is like a, a mini sure out, it's easy. Gotcha. So it really comes down to getting the type, fit. Getting fit. And and from that, you look at the wedge make or the set makeup that you have. And if your pitching wedge is 40, let's say 45, and you want to go to 60, I I, I, I love the five degrees. Really, I could I could figure that. I went to USC. <laughs> I could figure that out. You know? But that's about the only math I could figure out. But but I, I like 50, 55, 60. So you gap it in fives. Yeah. Fives and sixes are great. So there's some great advice there from Roger. Getting fit for your wedges is every bit as important as getting fit for your driver. Of course, if you come, come into one of our second swing locations, yep. we can help you with that. Get you in some new Callaway wedges, help and, you save some shots. And you can get fit inside for, yeah. very well for, for wedges as well. Absolutely. Yep. Roger, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.